This one's for you, Earl Ingstead. Lagertha has said many things that hold a lot of meaning, but in today's video, we'll talk about a handful of her sayings that define her as a character. Let's do 10 today and then look at something you might like. So, without any further delay, let's dive right into it. Starting with number 10 from Rites of Passage. You couldn't kill me if you tried for 100 years. This quote of hers comes from the first episode of the first season, when Ragnar leads Bjorn to one of the least likable characters, Earl Haraldson. To obtain his arm ring, two men attack Lagertha. The attackers are shocked when Lagertha mocks them and assures them they have no chance against her. Lagertha has always had confidence and not the slightest hint of fear. She developed these characteristics due to her work as a shield maiden and living in a culture that strongly condemns cowardice. She doesn't feel threatened by the two men, who aren't even battle-hardened, because she's used to being in the circumstances is far, far worse. And as she promised, she effortlessly overcomes them before returning to her regular activities. For number 9, we think the episode Yo was a perfect fit. In season 4, episode 4, Lagertha says, We have one life, Torvi. So go and live it. This is when Bjorn arrives at Torvi's marital house and demands to take her away from her husband, Erlendor. She is forced to make a difficult decision. Without hesitation, Lagertha counsels her to accompany Bjorn, warning against the possibility of regret. This suggestion demonstrates Lagertha's propensity for taking chances and her resolute opposition to oppression. Due to this firm attitude, she left Ragnar and Sigvard, her second husband. While Lagertha is aware of how difficult it is for Torvi to start over, she's certain that everything will be okay if she pursues her happiness. Happiness. She is capable of making the best of bad bargains. Following up with number eight, the dead. If you have gone to heaven, then we will never meet again. This one's from the third season's episode number 10, The Dead. Ragnar poses as being dead to be taken through the gates of Paris during one of the finest Viking battles, the invasion of Francia. Lagertha, unaware of the plot, warns him out of concern that they won't cross paths again in the hereafter. Lagertha is a devout follower of the Norse pantheon, thus she has no doubts that if she passes away, she will spend eternity in Valhalla and dine in Odin's Great Hall. On the other hand, Ragnar has spent most of his life straddling Christian and Norse beliefs. Lagertha concludes that there is no chance of a spiritual reconciliation because of their divergent worldviews. Coming towards number 7, what might have been. In the fourth season and the sixth episode, Lagertha says, The others will betray you. Lagertha counsels Guthrum about friendship before they return to Paris for the second raid. She advises him to maintain tight relationships with his friends so he may spend enough time with the good ones before they pass away and recognize the bad ones before they turn on him. Compared to many other characters in the show, Lagertha is wiser. She's aware of the subtleties of interpersonal connections and exchanges and is always vigilant. She appreciates friendships and is constantly eager to express her gratitude to people who help her out. Guthrum sadly falls under the group of people who passed away way too soon. Next up, for number 6, we just had to choose the 6th episode of the 6th season. The episode was called Death and the Serpent. Our beloved shield maiden said, And if I have to die for what Ragnar and I believed in, it is worth it. When she prevails in a bloody combat with the raider Whitehair, Lagertha once again demonstrates her skill as one of the greatest shield maidens in Vikings. Whitehair promises that she'd do whatever it takes to ensure that Ragnar is held accountable for his betrayal of her. Throughout the story, Lagertha experiences relationships with various individuals, yet her love for Ragnar never wanes. Because of their shared values and ideals, even though the confrontation with Whitehair takes place more than a decade after her separation from Ragnar, she still displays a readiness to die for his honor. Honor. Fortunately, she succeeds. Moving toward number five, we chose the quote. Now there's never the usurper, always the usurper. This comes from episode 14 of the fourth season, in the uncertain hour before the morning. Oslog accuses her enemy of pulling down other women while being deposed by Lagertha. Lagertha disagrees and makes it obvious that she is the victim of injustice. Lagertha, like many other powerful characters on the show, believes she is always right. She was Ragnar's first wife, and if Oslog hadn't destroyed their union, she would have succeeded him as king after his passing. In a way, her actions are justified. She generally despises Oslog, and this particular phrase reflects it. Now, now that we're halfway through, we have a special theory revolving around that states Oslog is a witch and that she needed Lagatha to kill her to fulfill the destiny she kind of wanted. The Snake Eye, the Boneless, and Lagatha also called her a witch at many points. Maybe, who knows? Not to forget number four, where Lagatha says, I am tired of fighting. And yet, let's do it. Let's go to England. 
from the 11th episode of the 5th season. This one stood out to us. Heyman advises that Torvi, Uba, and Lagertha seek asylum in England after being defeated by Ivar, even though Lagertha implies that she's about to give up because she's tired of traveling around and battling. She still commits to going. Lagertha may find battles at this point, but she loves nothing more than being on the front lines and dealing with foes regularly. She desires to stay home on this occasion and await her fate, but she decides to stay loyal to herself by accepting the next challenge. For number three, we have the sixth episode of the sixth season again. This one moment where Lagatha says, But not by men. By the other women who spin our fates. The former queen promises Gunhild that they will prevail before Lagatha and her shield maidens take on Whitehair and his bandits. She's happy that they won't need the aid of guys to complete the task. Lagatha has always been outspoken about her feminism. She thinks that in addition to being treated equally, women should also be autonomous. She enjoys being a part of an all-female team because of this, a mother figure to everyone she's close to. Lagatha does an excellent job calming and consoling others throughout the series. Again, the statements to Gunhild reveal this aspect of her character. Coming towards Numero Dos, Season 1, Episode 3, she says, If any harm befalls my children, I will tear the lungs out of your body. Priest. This episode was called Dispossessed. Ragnar and Lagatha assigned the priest Athelstan from the Lindisfarne Monastery, one of the most endearing Anglo-Saxons in the Vikings, to care after the kids for a short while. She also informs him of the consequences of failing to do his duties effectively. Lagatha takes great satisfaction in being a capable and devoted mom. She ensures that Bjorn is properly raised, and because of her love and care, he can grow into the greatest version of himself. Furthermore, Lagatha is stern and rigid. She is therefore ready to threaten Athelstan with repercussions if he doesn't do well. And finally, number one from season two, episode five. Our favorite lady from the show says, The future is open, trust in the courts. Live for each moment. The episode is called Answers in Blood. After helping Ragnar beat Jarl Bor, Lagatha is persuaded to stay by Ragnar, but refuses. She then gives Bjorn the option of going with his father, but he chooses to go with her. Lagatha has a positive outlook on life. She makes decisive calls as well. Even though polygamy was common during the Viking Age, she can't imagine sharing Ragnar with Oslog, so she must decide to leave him. She continues to be optimistic that she will meet new people, and she certainly does. What else? Let's talk about the actress who plays Lagatha. While Lagatha, the queen of Kattegat, will be missed by fans of the Vikings, Catherine Winnick will still be appearing in other projects, including the lead role in the ABC crime drama Big Sky, which will premiere its third season in September, and the action thriller The Marksman, which will star Liam Neeson in 2021. Because Winnick has played such a well-written character, many admirers will always call her Lagatha. We are them. Through her thrilling war scenes and impressive leadership skills, Lagatha never fails to wow us. She gained popularity as a TV character because of her hilarious one-liners, many of which perfectly capture who she is. Plus, she's beautiful. Anyway, that's a wrap for today's video. Any quote you think we missed? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and ensure you're subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.